it's time to the closing ceremony. Uh, it's my honor to host this uh, uh, this session. In this session, we have two preliminary uh, talk. Uh, the first uh, is by Professor Jinghui. Before his speech, I would like to give his uh, short uh, introduce. Uh, Hui Jin is a full professor since 2018 in Xi'an Jiao Tong University. He focuses on multi-phase reacting flow to procritical water gasification process and uh, its large-scale utilization. He is excellent young scholars financial aid by NSFC funding of China. Is also a director of New Energy Multiphase Flow Institute in Xi'an Jiao Tong University. Uh, he is a board member of Chinese Society for Electrical Engineering, deputy leader of Multiphase Flow Professional Group in the Chinese Society of Theoretical and Applied Mechanics. He is awarded by Wu Chunghua, Outstanding Young Scholar Awardee. Is uh, issued by Chinese Society of Engineering and Small Physics. This afternoon, he, uh, his uh, talk uh, is about enhancement of multi phase reacting flow. So uh, let's welcome Professor Hui Jin. Uh, so many thanks for the next introduction of the chairman for the bike. And it is uh, uh, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jinghui from Xi'an Jiaonong University. And it is uh, my great honor to be invited to give this lecture in the first world conference on multi phase transportation, conversation, and uh, utilization energy. I would like to share with you the topic uh, enhancement of multi, uh, multi phase reacting flow, co gasification in supercritical water. And here I would like to uh, uh briefly introduce uh, uh, my my presentation in some some journals and i, I would like to tell you can submit papers uh, with high quality i'm associate editor of the nd resources part a recovery utilization and environmental effects and i'm the editor of carbon resources conversion carbon capture science and technology it is homo and the young editor of biochar and the carbon uh, resources and I would like to be communicate with you in any style. This is my email box and my WeChat. Uh, my content including the following parts. Uh, the first one is uh, a coal. Uh, what is a coal gas location in supercritical water? The founding of fire greatly promote the progress of civilization. We enjoy a life with higher quality with the improvement of the way we deal with energy resources. Uh, from the steam turbine, internal combustion engine, thermal power plant, gas turbine, and even the integrated gasification, co-gasification combined circle. On the whole, all belongs to a kind of combustion. Uh, mainly, this is how a commonly coal is used in the world. It is combustion in the gas phase. We take the boiler as a typical equipment. It is a typical oxidative exothermic, exothermic reaction. Therefore, it inevitably causes heavy pollutions. For example, in the boiler, the overall reaction, reaction equation is as this. Coal is burned in the air phase, uh, exactly speaking with the oxygen in air with the nitrogen left, and the carbon dioxide, the sulfur dioxide, and the nitrogen oxide, and the greenhouse gas is mixed with excessive inert nitrogen. And the mixture is also dirty due to the particle matters. The collection of carbon dioxide is also famous for the high initial costs and the high operating costs. Generally speaking, it belongs to emission reduction after pollution production. Therefore, the 
exam accelerate system is complicated. Moreover, the efficiency is confined by the Carnot cycle. Here is the current approach to solve the problem. One, high operation parameter increase the efficiency, but relies on the expensive metallic material. Potential is quite limited. Pollution and carbon dioxide emission reduction decreases the efficiency greatly. Therefore, a high pollution and high carbon dioxide emission and high energy consumption cannot be solved at the same time. The situation for the traditional gasification is almost the same. It happens in gas phase and it is a partial oxidative axon naked reaction. It also inevitably causes heavy pollution and belongs to also the emission reduction after pollution production. The emission reduction system is complicated. High temperature is necessary for complete gasification. Often the temperature will be above a thousand te temperature. Uh, it raises the problem of the very expensive material, metallic materials. Of more often, these materials must be bought from abroad. It is necessary for us to find a way with no pollution from the resource, or we can say from the mountain head. Perhaps the conversion process happened in the water phase instead of the gas phase. We use the endosomatic instead of exosomatic. This question may be solved by a novel technology called co-gasification in silver water I saw in this, uh, in this cartoon. A placement of, uh, a place replacement reaction occurred. The hydrogen in silver water is placed, uh, replaced by the carbon of coal. And then carbon element combined with the oxygen in water to generate carbon dioxide. Other elements such as nitrogen, sulfur, alumina, uh, calcium, and uh, other heavy metals deposit as pure ash. So instead of the emission reduction after pollution production, we just uh, emit the pollution from the fountain height. The pollution can be sold from the region. The carbon dioxide can be collected with high purity. Because carbon dioxide can be sold in silver water, but when the temperature and the pressure is lower down, of course, uh, carbon dioxide can be very easily separated and collected. This technology can be used for hydrogen production or even power plant, power generation, or heat supply. So it is a poly generation system. Of course, the, mentor, the water mentioned here is not the common water as we drink every day, every life, such as the steam and the liquid water and ice. It is the water with temperature about 374 degrees C and the pressure about 22 mega point one megapascal. Then the water has unique chemical and uh, physical properties. Uh, Professor Jiliang Xu yesterday gave us a very excellent report about the carbon, supercritical carbon dioxide. But I mentioned here is supercritical water, all about supercritical, but different, different medium. Most of the hydrogen bonds break and silver water can become good solvents for gas and organic matter. Organic matter uh, is often uh, referred to such as the oil or the volatile from the coal. Therefore, silver water uh, pro provides a homogeneous and rapid reacting medium for coal complete gasification. The in in intermediums of coal particle is often with Power structure and supercritical has near zero surface tension. 
and get easy access to the inside pole structure, structure of the cold particle. The third important property is, is high reactivity. Free radicals in solid water molecular clusters decrease the energy barrier for gasification to make the reaction, reaction temperature milder than the traditional reaction medium, perhaps more or less the 650 degrees C instead of more than a thousand. As for hydro hydrogen production or uh, power plant, uh, as, as for the hydrogen production, superior water can convert coal to hydrogen directly and carbon dioxide is collected with high purity. Pollution can be eliminated from the fountain head. Therefore, the system is very simple, clean, efficient, and low carbon can be realized, can be realized at the same time. Uh, for the power plant, the efficiency is higher than the traditional coal-fired power plant. We can also say low carbon, clean, and efficiency, high efficiency can be achieved at the same time. From the point of view of thermodynamics, uh, coal can be gasification completely in silver water. Moreover, the mild temperature can decrease the investment and energy consum consumption. However, low temperature means low driving force, and early experiments results came out that the, gas, the carbon gasification efficiency is often below 50 centi percent. percent. The great chances and the singularity of water properties near the critical point lead to a very complex heat, mass, transfer, and chemical reaction. Here, uh, it can be seen that how complicated the reaction is. The thermochemical reaction includes uh, liquefaction, pyrolysis, steam reforming, and water gas shift reaction, and so on. All these reactions also coupled together. Therefore, my research idea inclu includes the, above, uh, the below three parts. Uh, first, we must get clear the heat and the mass momentum transfer mechanism first, and then we get clear the thermochemical reaction re respectively, and then we try to couple these two together. And the bottleneck we must overcome is the special properties of the super water. And uh, it is a special Stephen flow, uh, triangular on the surface on the surface of the cold particle, and the reaction happens in in the surface. And also, there are a lot of cold particles, and they are in the confined space. Space. As a uh, first, we pay attention to. The flow near the boundary layer. As the increased temperature in homogeneity with the superior water flow field, the calculation formula derived from the classical boundary layer theory, such as the Blasius theory, would show a significant deviation to get fraction coefficiency on pla plate. If the following if following the classic theory, the terms influenced by the property variations will be fine. That is the dimensionless velocity gradient in boundary layer. This means that starting with this gradient is a good idea to do research. If uh, income, incoming flow is under critical states, the pressure is uniform. The feeders of Dimensionless gradient would relate to the temperature boundary condition. If the temperature uh, BC is determined, the gradient keep the same on whole plane, plate, which means the sim similarity relations still exist. 
However, if the temperature changes, the gradient would also show differences, which means the gradient is influenced by the temperature. Then we analyze the variables in friction stress and separate them into two parts. In the calculation process of CF, the part unrelated to X can be moved out of integrated simple. As a result, a semi-analytical formula could be gotten. The dimensionless parameter L aster could be seen as the extensive extended of the con content in classical theory and it is related to temperature boundary layer. Finally, study the relation between L aster and the temperature and get a diagram of L aster. The model composed of semi-analytical formula diagram can quickly calculate friction coefficient at one side of super water around the plant. And the relative deviation between the results and the DNS is less than 1.786 percent. For an endosomatic particle in super water, the last property variation lead to the class classic correlations cannot make a princess prediction of the CD value. This is mainly caused by the large variations of density and the viscosity, which suppress the flow separation from the particle surface. This can be found in the flow field distribution. Then the particle resolved numerical simulation are conducted to build the CD correlation applicable for a cold particle in silver water. And the new correlation is compared to the classical correlation, it can be can reduce the error greatly. Also, the last properly variation variation also lead to the classical when taker correlation cannot make a princess prediction of the no certain number. This is mainly caused by the high heat storage capacity of super water, which leads to a high a heat transfer rate. Therefore, particle result numerical simulation are conducted to build the no certain net correlation applicable for a cold particle in super water. And the new correlation is compared with the classical one to reduce the error greatly in the feature. The boundary layer of cold particle undergo a uh, transition from ambient condition to supercritical super critical condition. And the unique properties of supercritical water lead, lead to that. Available diffusion series for gas and liquid cannot be applied in such a wide, a wide range from subcritical to supercritical. Therefore, the conducted uh, MD simulation to propose a statistical <laughs> model where the self diffusion coefficient is divided into influence of the solute gas and the solute chili water. Meanwhile, we find that self diffusion coefficient can be correlated to the Arrhenius form, and it only shows that the relation to temperature at fixed temperature pressure. While well, our new model can be used at different temperature and pressure. Thus, we review effects of the thermal physical properties on diffusion coefficients in the region from subcritical to supercritical. The recirculation zoom is larger due to the Stephen flow, and Stephen flow increases the velocity boundary layer thickness surrounding the particle. With the increase of Stephen flow, the drag coefficient decreases. In this work, we propose the simplified model of the Stephen flow influence. For example, particles, the sub-boundary layer smooths the surface of the particles and reduces the friction resistance. The effective 
volume of the particles is enlarged. In other words, it increases the efficient effective radium of the particle from heat. For heat transfer, the mass flow layer around the particles is equally equivalent to a, an additional thermal resistance layer for the heat transfer of the mainstream, which hinders the heat transfer. So we fit the emperor formula that can be used to predict the drag efficiency under the Stephen flow influence. For the two particles with Stephen flow, we have also paid attention to the interaction between particles, such as blocking and the nozzle effect. Stephen flow increases the temperature boundary thickness surrounding the particle. With the increase of the Stephen flow number, the nozzle number decreases. And the, we feed the, the formula that can be used for to predict the nozzle number under the Stephen flow influence. For two particles, nozzle number of the two particles are both smaller than a single particle. The motion of the sphere in a, a circle, cir circular tube is a general case applicable to a wide range of industrial uh, practice. In pre pre previous research, a falling sphere with low ladle number in a tube flow is usually effective to approach an equilibrium position along the tube axis nomotanically. So the tube axis is naturally regards as the equilibrium position. But in this work, an annual phenomenon is observed experimentally that an e rotatable sphere falls from an off axle straight line. Obviously, the equilibrium position of the sphere in a tube is still, is still a problem or a question. The change of equilibrium position indicated that the forces mechanism suffered by practice by particles, which is the which is the critical to correctly predict the drag force. Therefore, the work is studied in detail and we set up an experimental device. In this work, we carry out the settlement experiments of a sphere and then the trajectory and the weight of a sphere in circular tube are tested as shown in the figure. First, from the follow, following trajectory, we can see that regardless of the uh, quiescent fluid and the flowing fluid, the sphere all falls along an eccentric straight line. Also, we also find that the sphere does not rotate during the sediment, which is now shown in figure. Next, for the particle wake recirculation region, the semantic wake recirculation appears behind the particles. This annual phenomena found in this work provides a fractal basis for an in-depth understanding of the motion of the particles. And we also investigate the change of equilibrium position of the particles. Through marrying the following trajectory, the change of equilibrium position at different causes have been obtained. In upper figure, uh, it is the rectangular fluid case, while the following fluid causes is now shown. In the crescent fluid, the equilibrium position of a sphere gradually shifts towards the axis as the surface. The sphere size increases. As shown in the figure, in the following, in the flowing fluid, and also observe that the equilibrium position of a sphere exists in two different tendencies. Small sphere moves towards the axis with increasing channel, channel 
Reynolds number, while a large sphere migrates towards the wall. And at least we also have the equation. The next one is about the thermal chemical reaction. Uh, our first challenge is to find the rate determining stamp and uh, enhance it. We firstly use the lamp parameter and the time scale analyze uh, to find the rate determining stamp. It is fine that the precise of the fixed carbon gasification is, is, slow, is, so, is slow. Later on, we analyze the micro secretaline structure of carbon and find the ring opening reaction of PAH is risk determining stamp. Reacts FF and, and the density function theory are coupled to conduct MD simulation to analyze the, Mexico, the macroscopic mechanism of the rate determining, determining stamp. The rate determining stamp area often lacks of radicals. Free radicals can be produced from the inti, uh, intermediate. Therefore, we extract fluid from the areas rich in free radicals and inject it into a uh, rate determining stamp area. Similarly, water has unique properties, physical and uh, chemical properties, also makes the cold particles gasification behavior and kinetic characteristic different from those in traditional combustion. And here, the controlled stamp of the particle of gasification and its transformation and different condition were obtained, which provide a basic for the uh, reactor scaled up design. A CFD numerical model for gasification of a single pole char particle was also developed. Developed here, the existing civil water gasification kinetic model are also apparent kinetic model with lack conditions consideration of the particle power structure and its its. Uh, evaluation. Therefore, uh, there are inherent defects of narrow scope of application and low accurate. The random pole model can be used to describe the specific surface areas evolution and the structure parameter per side in random pole Particle model can be obtained by linear fitting of experimental data. Compared with the existing, existing model, this model takes the pole surface into consideration, so the model has more accuracy. Accurate kinetic model is crucial, so we control the error from more or less 20 to below four. Next one is we couple the about two factors together. The natural convection and the temperature distribution of civil water in a cell wall heated enclosed cavity is studied by simulation. The effect of initial state temperature differences and the aspect ratio is discussed. The natural convection of civil water in a cell wall heat cylinder with the inlet and outlet is also studied by simulation. The heat transfer correlation is summarized and the factors affecting heat transfer are also discussed. Based on the flow and heat transfer formula, we conduct, conduct the full flow field regulation work. For example, low temperature is maintained at the nozzle by proper, proper heat boundary. Set reaction volume is decreased by adjusting the injection angle. The 
concentration of the coparticle is high above the distributor. Squaring distributor is invented for more vigorous back mixing and uh, disturbing for a better particle distribution. Endosomatic and exosomatic reaction both have its distribution in the reactor. Before coordination, the exosomatic reaction occurs in top of the reactor to cause the local overheating. After coordination, heat match at the reactor bottom not only avoids the overheating, but also reduces the heat transfer resistance. A de demonstration plant was constructed and has continuously and stably operated for more than tens of thousands, uh, 20 thousands, uh, 20, 20, of hours. We have good coal adapti adaptivity, covering more than 10 typical coals in China. For example, Zhendong coal with high alkali content can also be completely gasified below the ash fusion point without dusting and coking problem. We can see from the bottle that the ash is pure white. If if not, if not gasification completely, the ash will be have black color. Complete gasification temperature can be below 670, which can be uh, withstood in the tube in tube reactor even invented. The mild condition and high carbon gasification efficiency can be realized at the same time. Here, let's go to the conclusions. A state key laboratory of multi-phase flow proposed a complete, complete endosomatic reduction method for supercritical water gasification from coal to produce hydrogen for power, power plant and the heat supply from the theoretic and experimental as aspects. A demonstration system has been established and has continuously operated for more than 20,000 hours. Typical coals can be gasified completely in silty water below 670 degrees C. Low carbon, clean, and efficiency can be achieved at the same time. I would like to answer your questions. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Hui Jin. Uh, he gave a very nice talk about the fundamentals research and application in the demonstration plan uh, about the supercritical water uh, gasification of the uh, core. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, the fundamental research, including the uh, multi phase flow thermal uh, physics, such as uh, flow dynamics, heat and mass transfer, and also uh, thermal chemical uh, fundamentals. Uh, with uh, uh, the re reactions. So, uh, is there any question or comment? So, uh, so uh, I have a quick question. This uh, it's uh, the question is about. Uh, I think uh, in your conclusion, I think you. Uh, the fundamental research uh, was uh, was very well done uh, by by your group, and uh, do you have some uh, suggestion about the future research to increase the uh, increase the uh, the, um, the energy transfer efficiency or uh, to decrease the reaction conditions? And some, some are. Oh, that's a very excellent question uh, raised by the chairman. Uh, I think uh, the future job may be uh, the how to how to scale up uh, the reactor. And my first my first uh, 
hardworking uh, thing is to to retain the uh, not uh, not increase the not increase the 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 the, the, the work of the reactor, but uh, maintain it as it is good. With the enlargement of the reactor and uh, perhaps uh, the the multi phase flow and the reaction could uh, maybe they they don't match and uh, the mm -hmm. carbon classification efficiency can be lower down so the first uh, things I, I must do is maintain uh, the good uh, good results and uh, i i agree to some extent maybe with the improvement improvement of the reactor maybe we can even uh, lower down the the gasification uh, the complete gasification temperature maybe because uh, when the reactor is larger and the real uh, the Leno number and the no set no number are also larger than the smaller one. Uh, with the, uh, the improvement of the nozzle technology or, or something like that, maybe the, the, the reaction can be further enhanced and the, the even uh, better gasification results in the more lower temperature can be uh, achieved uh, with 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 our our group. I I think I hope that I answer your question, Professor Bai. Uh, okay, thank uh, you. Professor Jin. Mm -hmm. uh, can you hear me, Professor Jin? Uh, uh, Professor Hai Gang, I can hear you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, it's a very intriguing topic, and I have some. I have one question about the uh, uh, interface force and uh, compare the normal condition and. Uh, how about the drag force between the liquid and the solid particles? Compare the normal condition. How about the supercritical water? The, the drag force has some change or not? Uh, thanks, thanks, many thanks for your, for your question. As for the drag force, the, we can see from the, the, okay. the, fi the figure, uh, the traditional formula under predict the drag force and silly water it increased increases drag force but uh, not too much but not too much you, you can see the, the error is not so big so when when the when the particle is not uh, condensed we, we of course with this formula is more accurate but uh, with the traditional one the, the, the error is not so big but for the but heat transfer is very clear. Mm. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, Hagan. So, uh, uh, it's a very nice talk. I think uh, uh, there are many questions that you, uh, you should uh, write email or uh, or some some way to the Discord continue after the after the, the lectures. Thank you, Jinghui. Uh, we will go Thank ahead. You, Chairman. Yeah. So, mm. the next uh, plenary speech is by Professor Mo Chang Liu. Hello, uh, Professor, okay. Bo, uh, Professor Bai. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the so, computer, the yeah, the net is uh, clear. Your screen is also clear. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Before your talk, I would like to give a short introduce by Professor Mo Chang Liu. Mo Chang Liu is a full professor in International Research Center for Renewable Energy, Xianjiao University. He is also the Young mm, Young River Scholar. Uh, Ministry of Education and holds the top Young Talent Program of Xianjiao University. Professor Liu, his research uh, interest cen uh, centered on the solar to hydrogen conversion with high efficiency and low cost. He also published, he, he has published more than 60 science uh, journal papers, including natural energy, natural communication, PNUS, JEX, EES. He is a member of committee on 
hydrogen energy of Chinese Renewable Energy Society, the academic secretary of the Multiphase Flow Branch of the Chinese Society of Engineering uh, Seismology. Uh, Today, he will give us uh, a talk about multi field coupled concentrated solar drive, uh, uh, driven catalytic water splitting for hydrogen production. Go ahead, please. Okay. Thank you very much, Professor Bai, uh, for your kind of introduction. And uh, it's my great honor to be here to give the last plenary lecture. Yeah, yeah can you hear me, Professor Bai? Yes, but uh, you, okay. you, you, did, uh, you should please uh, uh, share your screen. Oh, uh, <laughs> you forgot. You forget. Did, did, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should share the screen. Can you, can you see the oh, okay. screen? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Anyway, okay. It is the last plenary lecture to all the audience. Uh, and it is also about the time for dinner. And so I will try my best to save time. Many thanks to all of you. So the title of my talk, uh, as just uh, introduced, is Multifield Carbon Concentrated Solar Driven Catalytic Water Splitting for Hydrogen Production. So in this talk, I would like to introduce some progress as well as the latest advances uh, of our lab on solar hydrogen production technologies. So generally my talk will uh, contain following three parts. Uh, firstly, uh, I will uh, talk about the research background and the significance of the research. Uh, currently, China's energy development is still uh, dominant dominated by coal. The proportion of renewable energy in primary energy consumption in China is extremely low. And this has led to serious environmental pollution. And China's CO2 emission still ranks the first in the world. In this case, the Chinese government faces uh, enormous international political pressure. Consequently, we have to promote the resolution of energy uh, technologies in terms of energy consumption, supply, and uh, some new technologies and uh, systems. And uh, our long-term goal is to build a clean, low-carbon, uh, safe, and efficient energy system, which has been provided in the report of the 19th uh, National Congress uh, of China. And in September 2020, the Chinese government clearly uh, proposed the 2030 and the 2060 due to carbon uh, target. That is uh, striving, the, striving to achieve carbon emissions peak by 2030 and carbon neutralization by 2060. It is worth pointing out that although the total installed capacity of renewables in China ranks first in the world. However, the abandoning light and wind is also in very large amount. And that is also a significant waste of such renewable resources. The economic and reliable large scale renewable energy utilization technology is thus uh, highly desired. Solar energy is a very ideal alternative energy because of its advantages in terms of abundant reserves, wide distribution. It is also very clean and pollution free. However, solar energy also has drawbacks such as low energy density, discontinuous uh, supply and uh, large regional differences. So it is difficult to directly utilize solar energy on a large scale. A good way to uh, utilize solar energy uh, is to convert solar energy into a fair for convenient, convenient storage and uh, utilization through such a method, a method such as uh, photochemistry. On the other hand, let's see hydrogen, okay? Hydrogen, yeah, is also an ideal energy carrier. It is generally regarded with high combustion efficiency and a calorific uh, value. <clears throat> it, 
its oxidation products is water, free of pollution, and it is easy to store and transport. Efficient and low-cost large-scale conversion and storage of solar energy based on this hydrogen uh, energy is an ideal way to sustainable development of energy environment and also the way to crack the external threat of energy. So let's see a very new technology that is solar photocatalytic hydrogen production from water. This process is one of the best choices due to its low cost and mild reaction conditions. It can convert the solar energy with low density, low energy flow density, dispersion, and a discontinuity into uh, hydrogen carrier energy carriers. American DOE, yeah, estimated estimates that when energy conversion efficiency of photo hydrogen, photo to hydrogen, yeah, that reaches five to ten percent, industrialization can be realized. Therefore, it is of great significance to conduct uh, research on solar photocatalysis uh, for hydrogen production. So in the second part, I would like to introduce some key scientific issues and uh, research ideas of our group on the uh, development of this technology. Yeah, let's see. Different from most research, on this specific area, first uh, on material design, our study, yeah, we study solar photocatalytic hydrogen production from the perspective of the whole reaction process at a spatial temporal multi scale. Solar photocatalytic water splitting to hydrogen production from a whole process that including, yeah, Multiphase reaction in the system, micro um, micro multiphase solid liquid interface, as well as the uh, re uh the, the the photo uh, the the physical processes in inside the catalyst particle, the whole solar energy solar energy source. Yeah, to the hydrogen terminal, we can find that there are a large amount of energy loss from the perspectives of thermal dynamics and uh, dynamics, including uh, ex including photo excitation, carrier migration, interface reactions, and uh, as well as the uh, molecules, yeah, adsorption and desorption on the surface of the uh, catalyst particle and the transfer uh, and also the, the, the bubbles the reaction bubbles, for example, the hydrogen bubbles and the, the, the oxygen bubbles that may introduce some yeah, resist, resistance. So firstly, from the source, yeah, the energy source means that from the uh, solar radiation as restricted by the catalyst band gap, solar energy can only be used mostly uh, in the part of uh, ultraviolet and a visible spectrum during photo uh, catalysis. High energy photons suffer greater thermalization yeah, loss, while the low energy photons would lose all of their energy in the form of heat. Despite the understanding in practical, in practice, the efficiency up to now yeah, is still quite far from the theoretical efficiency. And uh, this is caused by the fact that the material flow and the energy flow in the whole reaction cannot be matched eff effectively. Therefore, one of the key issues is how to realize utilization of the broad spectrum of the solar energy and realize the maximum transform of the available solar energy. Secondly, yeah, 
we know that the photocatalytic water splitting is generally easy to be operated because it usually takes place uh, normally uh, at a normal pressure and a room temperature. In this reaction, the hydrogen is produced in the form of hydrogen bubbles, that is high, uh, including the process of bubble nucleation and bubble growth and uh, striping from the catalyst, catalyst surface. However, during the serious process of the bubble dynamics, the nucleation growth and the desorption of the hydrogen bubbles require strong driving phase, uh, driving force. If the bubbles cannot effectively desorbed, on the one hand, light absorption will be significantly reduced because the because of the interfacial skating effect caused by the bubbles. And also, on the other hand, the generation of the hydrogen bubbles, okay, uh, will cause the coverage of many active sites on the catalyst surface, hiding the further chemical reactions. Therefore, the interfacial bubble generation is also a core speed control step in the entire mass transfer process. The key to solve this problem is to overcome the limitation of low density of the incident light irradiation to improve such driving force of the photocatalytic reaction. And uh, this could enable the rapid desorption of the generated hydrogen or oxygen bubbles. And finally, we also need to pay attention to the solar energy that is a uh, instable state photothermal radiation, which will inevitably lead to the variable conditions of the chemical reaction. So if there is no light, we can see if there is, there is no light irradiation, the reaction rate will come to zero, okay? Therefore, on one hand, we must firstly have or prepare a very efficient photocatalyst with marked mass and energy transfer property. And more importantly, the efficient coupling of the chemical reaction with light, particle, bubble, and flow char characteristics, okay, is also very important. So in short, due to the complex energy mass transportation and a coupling matching relationship among catalyst particles and a multi-phase reaction flow and a solar radiation, the high efficient, efficient photocatalyst, okay, theoretical high efficiency uh, photocatalyst that is always difficult to play its real energy efficiency for a, during a real or practical direct solar radiation system. As a readout or a very limited energy conversion efficiency could be achieved. So the key to efficient large scale hydrogen production is to optimize the coupling of the catalyst composition structure, particles coupling the particles and the bubbles in the facial and the radiation of the whole reaction system. And finally, coupling with the multi-phase reaction flow. So it's uh, very important to do everything in the whole reaction process. So finally, let me introduce the research advances by involving some research uh, examples of our group. So firstly, we are aiming to control the coupling character characteristics of solar concentrating radiation and the reaction. Based on the classical electromagnetic theory of interaction between yeah, plasmas and excited carriers, a method uh, for analyzing the photon phonon coupling mechanism of plasma was
हेलो मोटा हेलो मोटा यो वेब सार स्वाता हाँ तो तारीख हो Let's wait a moment. Uh, Motown, please check. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry for for the disturbance. Okay, sorry. Can can you hear me now? Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Uh, please okay. uh, back uh, back one so the slide. Back okay. One. Okay. Let let me again. Okay. okay. Is, is this uh right? Yes. The right slide. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry to 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 uh delay some time. Okay. For the delay. So firstly, we are aiming to uh control the coupling characteristics of solar. Concentrating radiation, yeah, and uh, the reaction based on the classical electromagnetic theory of the interaction between plasmas and excited uh, carriers. Yeah, a method for constructing photosomal coupling catalyst particle based on plasma uh, plasma uh, core shear structure was proposed, which led to broad light response ability. And the synergy of long wavelength photons and short wavelength uh, photons based on the coupling of photo electro electronic effects and the photosomal effect also enables significant improved photo catalytic activity. We also developed a, a non noble matter element, TiO2 composite. Photocatalyst by which we realize four spectral uh, high efficient photosomal coupling uh, for hydrogen production from water. And we further studied the reaction under the conditions of intense light concentration. Generally, the photocatalytic uh, reaction that has a light intensity usually under 20 yeah, suns. In our experiment, yeah. We constructed based on the lens attenuator group light concentrating uh, concentration system that achieves continuous uh, modulation of light intensity uh, from two songs to 155 songs. And also successfully uh, coped it with the photocatalytic reaction. We then proposed a new photocatalytic reaction system for strong photosomal coupling by integrating high concentrated incident light. It is found that for each material, there should be a certain optimal melting point for uh, between the light intensity and the reaction. Taking TiO2 number two photocatalyst system as the as the example, we found that on a 42 songs Yes, about 42 sun light intensity. The efficiency of the photocatalytic hydrogen production reached the highest uh, value. The same, the similar photoelectrocatalytic system, similar uh, photoelectrocatalytic system also should the same pattern. While the sun is uh, at uh, 42 suns, we achieved the maximum current density as per the unit light intensity. By means of in situ electrochemical characterization of the as prepared catalyst on the different light conditions, 
such as, yeah, we use uh, photoelectro test, model stochic test. It is found that the density of strong light can greatly, yeah, influence the surface reaction potential of TiO2 with the increase of the light intensity. Surface reaction potential gradually decline, makes it easier to surface charge for the surface uh, charge carrier to conduct the re redox reaction and thus produce hydrogen. And uh, interestingly, we also found a similar phenomena by using, yeah, cadmium zinc sulfide uh, comes into photocatalyst. Uh, in this experiment, we found the strongest uh, coupling in the reaction achieves at an intensity of 34 uh, sounds. Secondly, we studied the, the, the tra transmission of energy carrier inside the catalyst particle. It is well accepted that strong phonon electron correlation in catalyst particle that uh, has led to restricted distribution and the transmission of long life excit excitons. And uh, we found that based on the phonon electron skating acoustic, acoustic coupling mathematical description, okay, that electronic mag magnetic field could be effectively generated by a kind of spin polarization. And this spin protection effect that has led to the decoupling of phonal electron coloration. As a result, the carrier lifetime is great improve, greatly improved. And this has led to an efficient salary of carrier transportation in photocatalytic materials. And in the aspect of mass transfer of molecules on the surface of the catalyst, aiming at overcome the mass transfer limitation of water molecules in the catalytic material, a morph supported photosomal material uh, with high water transportation uh, char characteristics was uh, developed to achieve efficient adsorption and a desorption of water molecules on the surface of the uh, catalytic uh, materials. And we realized, realized uh, efficient photosomal coupling hydrogen production on a concentrated uh, light conditions. For the precious measurement of interfacial bubble dynamics in the process of hydrogen produ production from photosomal uh, water splitting, we developed a kind of PIV, PIF method to, add, to achieve accurate measurement of the flow field and the temperature field around the bubble. This has led to the accurate prediction of flow field and temperature field around the bubble in the process of hydrogen production. And it is also found that the heterogeneous nucleation of bubbles that depends on the comprehensive effect of surface variability and the surface curvature. Reducing the surface curvature, concave uh, curvature can effectively promote the nucleation of bubbles. It may provide uh, ideas for optimizing surface structure of photocatalytic water splitting materials from the uh, perspective of bubble nucleation. We further discovered the mechanism of the microliquid layer based on interfacial weighting dynamics and thus the relationship between the formation of microliquid layer and the core adsorption, absorption characteristics of nanostructures and the surface reaction rate. In this case, bubble adhesion minimization can be achieved by optimizing the interfacial structure this finally would lead to the improvement of the reaction rate. Finally, it is found that the external light disper disturbance that caused by the bubble to bounce on the electric field 
uh, it lectured surface. The dynamic behavior of the bubbles was directionally adjusted by controlling the disturbance uh, time of the light, which effectively promotes the rapid desorption of the bubbles at the catalyst, catalyst uh, interface. A force mode by uh, yeah, bouncing bubbles is established to accurately predict the rising process of the bubble desorption. It is confirmed that the change of Maragani force is the additional reason for the regulation of bubble desorption uh, behavior by light disturbance. The bouncing bubble impacted by the fluid near the wall temperature a bonding layer, which strengthened the convective heat transfer on the wall, the generated work effect promotes energy and mass transfer efficiency of the solution near the reaction point. The third aspect is on the regulation of multi-field uh, coupling concentrated for the thermal reaction. We firstly proposed the micro reaction, uh, a new system of photocatalytic hydrogen production system by fiber light source based on micro reaction channels. Okay, in this reaction system, the mechanism of photocatalytic hydrogen production based on optical fiber invanescent wave effect is revealed. And it was theoretically verified that the fluid in the micro channel can be transferred without temperature difference through the design of reasonable hydrophilic and hydrophobic walls on the driving on the uh, on the driving of a single point head source, and uh, which provides a theoretical base for the efficient and uh, low resistant directionally directional transportation of reaction fluid in microchannel photosomal catalytic uh, catalytic reactor. In addition, we introduced we also introduced alternate uh, magnetic field into photocatalytic hydrogen production process and proposed a magnetic field coped uh, concentrating uh, hydrogen production system. The magnetic field can introduce heat generation and promote separation of the general electron core pairs, thereby improving, improving the photocatalytic uh, performance. I'll go quick through the last, last few slices. Okay, in this attempt, Nickel uh, form is employed as the support owing to its three-dimensional reticulate structure and high conductivity. Meanwhile, uh, nickel form can be heated through ND current effect under alternate magnetic field condition, thus accelerate, accelerating the reaction rate. We then prepare a kind of TIO tunic form monolithic photocatalyst and to investigate the effect a magnetic photothermal coupling field on photocatalytic hydrogen production. And we investigate the various reaction conditions by placing uh, this kind of mosaic, mos monolithic photocatalyst at different places uh, of the uh, reaction solution. It is found that by just placing the catalyst at the liquid air interface, we can achieve the highest hydrogen uh, production rate. And uh, moreover, the temperature on one hand, yeah, this is because the highest light uh, absorption ability in this system, in this uh, kind of uh, system. And also we can achieve high reaction system, a uh, reaction temperature in a few uh, minutes on the alternate magnetic field uh, condition. These uh, two points has great improving the, uh, enable great improved photocatalytic hydrogen production rate. Here you and uh, we also need to uh, aware the bubble dynamics in this reaction. That also explain why we place the uh, catalyst on the interface of the, uh, in the, in, on the interface of the uh, air and uh, liquid surface uh, interface. And uh, 
upon lighter radiation, we can see bubbles generated in the catalyst that could be a uh, introduce greater resistance during the reaction. So, okay. So, in this case, case as we mentioned in the last slices, the photogenerator bubbles could uh, introduce strong resistance for surface chemical reactions by using much field coupling introduced the photosome effect. The interfacial reaction and the gas product desorption process could uh, be decoupled in on a special temporal temporal scale. In this case, the traditional solid liquid gas three phase reaction can transfer into liquid solid gas solid multiphase reaction, which can avoid the desorption of the process of bubbles and thus greatly improve the efficiency of hydrogen production. And based on above achievements, we integrate uh, and de demonstrated a multi-field coupled concentration photo thermal hydrogen production reaction system by covering it with the uh, finial lens and comes it parabolic uh, concentrator. The system is still for, uh, frequency divided and the, the reaction module absorbs the uh, ultraviolet and uh, visible light during the reaction and uh, have the infrared, infrared light transferred and this infrared, infrared LED, red light is efficiently absorbed and stopped by a thermal uh, management system and also coupling with the hydrogen production reaction or reversely heating the reaction system. And this system also allows the flexible adjustment of the output ratio of thermal, electrical, electricity, and uh, hydrogen. And this video shows the multi field copper the system, okay, that was located on the top of our research building. And by further covering it with the photovoltaic system, the solar hydrogen production efficiency can be up to 25%, which may promote the industrial demonstration and the learning of low cost large scale transformation of solar energy. Uh, the, the finally, the, the, we have uh, established a no energy innovation research institute with the state of power investment Xinjiang company. And uh, where we have launched a large scale industrial demonstration system and uh, with high uh, parameters. Uh, and this shows the picture that we have uh, set up this kind of demonstration, outdoor demonstration in Xinjiang, okay. And finally, I would like to uh, express my sincere thanks to Professor Lei Jingguo, who is also my uh, supervisor during my PhD uh, period for his guidance and support of my research. And I also would like to express uh, a thank Professor Deng Weijing, Professor Sao Huashen, and uh, Professor Jing Zansu, and uh, many other professors from different universities for their great uh, support. And also uh, thank my, uh, acknowledge my, uh, 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 my students and uh, the financial support from SFC, most and the university. And uh, thank you all. Sorry for the uh, delay. Thanks. Thank you very much for your uh, very nice presentation. Uh, Professor Mo Chang Liu gave us uh, a very nice fundamental research and also applications uh, in the, uh, for the uh, applications uh, in the industrial scale. And also his research uh, focuses on the interdisciplinaries, including the, uh, the uh, uh, chemical uh, reaction, the multiphase flow, uh, including the bubble particles, uh, dynamics under the phonics or chemical fields uh, and coupled the reaction is very uh, in interesting. Uh, so uh, is there any questions or comments, please? So, yeah, I think, uh, okay. So, yeah. 
I have a quick question. Uh, okay. Uh, in the, so uh, your work is uh, is um, uh, your work is very nice. Uh, but uh, I uh, will you please give some uh, suggestion for the future research? Okay. Okay. So it's a big question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> big question. But okay. you can fo okay. uh, focus on your. Uh, on your uh, on your uh, interest. Uh, okay, thank you, Professor. Uh, bye. Okay, okay. So yes, mm. it's a very important uh, the, the question, but it's also a very yeah big question. But I will uh, introduce uh, uh, from the perspective of uh, specific uh, of the specific area photocatalysis uh, uh, from water splitting. Yeah, for hydrogen production in my specific research area, I think. Uh, uh, in the future, uh, at least in the uh, in the in, in the uh, following five years, we have to combine photocatalysis with uh, photovoltaic technology. As you can see, that uh, generally photovoltaic uh, uh, technology (PV) uh, and uh, PEC and uh, uh, photovoltaic technology that can coupling with uh, electrical water splitting that can be a very efficient way to hydrogen production from renewables. But as we can also find that the energy conversion efficiency uh, at the industrial uh, level is still not very high. So you can see our demonstration has, yeah, especially this one has, yeah, we can achieve a very high uh, energy conversion efficiency up to 25% by uh, combining photovoltaic technology and the photocatalysis technology. So I think in the future, uh, we can uh, uh, do something uh, about, uh, do something by combining a multi uh, kind of technologies, including photocatalysis, including pho photoelectrocatalysis, and uh, including photovoltaic uh, electrolysis of water splitting. I think uh, this is much better to uh, to 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 uh, achieve some uh, practical application of this kind of technology in the uh, very uh, short uh, wire. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we hope you uh, your your work uh, will uh, give a strong support for the uh, the renewable energy community in in China in the future in the recent future. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, okay. For the time limited, yeah, we will go to the next uh, sessions. And if if there are um, uh, questions, uh, you can please you you please uh, write mail or or left your your message to uh, to Professor Mao Chang Liu. Thank you. Uh, bye bye. Thank you, Professor. Go. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Please. Okay. Uh, okay. Close your yeah, could share yeah, share this uh, screen. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Hello, everybody. Uh, let's go to the uh, closing ceremony. Uh, we, we, it will take a few uh, minutes to uh, to do uh, three three part. First, we will give a uh, uh, give a conclusion about the conference. Uh, so, the conference, the world conference on multi-phase flow, multi-phase transportation. Conversion utilization of uh, energy. Uh, this is the first uh, first conference this year, and uh, the, uh, we uh, short the name uh, with the uh, uh, Matt Q. So, uh, so we will use the Matt Q to spelling the, the the conference. So the conference was founded by uh, Academy of Li Jingguo and uh, Academy uh, Ai Bin Yu, and uh, uh, in this three uh, this conference, uh, there are more than a million uh, candidates in the uh, internet online. So 
yeah, it's a big number. The so it, it, although the uh, we can uh, the all of the um, Israel cannot meet uh, uh, face to face, but we uh, listen and uh, discuss uh, online. So the uh, the online is connects to the, the the number is very big. So the conference I think is very successful. Yeah. Uh, of that, I will give a, a short uh, introduce of the of the conference. So, uh, as we know, uh, the the conference will build a clean, low carbon and uh, efficiency energy system because uh, they have become a world a worldwide uh, consumers and the challenge such as the clean, low carbon, and uh, efficient utilization of fossil energy. And the large scale, low cost, and efficient utilization of renewable energy. And the multi-phase flow research plays a irreplaceable role in the breakthrough of energy theories and technology. And even the revaluation of industry and human uh, society, such as the thermophysics, we are familiar with the fluid flow, heat, and mass transfer, and the thermochemistry, photochemistry, photothermoelectric, such as the uh, uh, energy and mass conversion, and their uh, transportations. And the uh, the many uh, industrial applications, such as the fossil energy, renewable energy, hydrogen energy, nuclear energy, power engineering, petrol, uh, petrochemical in industry, and uh, environment, and so on. The MEDIQ will provide uh, international communi uh, communication and collaboration in central to propel a multidisciplinary dialogue on innovative and sustainable idea exchange, both in basic and theory, basic theoretical research and industrial engineering practice. Um, MedQ take pride in uh, uh, continuing the tradition of ASMF, which has a history of three, eight years, and eight sessions. It focuses on the theoretical and industrial researches and the interdisciplinaries of energy science. Okay. So the MedQ uh, will held every two years with countries from several continents taking turns competing to host the event. So we will build the governing board. Uh, we plan to have uh, the governing board uh, 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 combined uh, 13 members from Europe, America, Australia, South uh, um, Asia, uh, Africa, and uh, others. All of the members uh, can share, serve a maximum of six years and three uh, consecutive uh, terms. We also have three uh, committees, including the scientific committee, organization committee, and avoid committees. So we will uh, build a security and website uh, uh, permanent. The secretary uh, 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 is in the state key laboratory of multi-phase flow in power engineering and the, the city key laboratory to uh, host the, the uh, website and the email box. So uh, after three days conference, yeah, uh, the best, the, oh, after the conference, uh, we should announce the support journals and how to submit the, the, your, your paper to the, the journals. 
the conference was supported by the by uh, nine international journals. So after the conference, the four papers will be uh, encouraged to submit uh, the journals uh, accordingly the research topic before September 30. All of the papers will be evaluated and selected by the expert panels. Yeah, uh, the table gave the, all of the international journals. And uh, uh, this uh, name is the uh, uh, explanation how to uh, submit. Yeah. And uh, all of the information will be announced in the, uh, in the website of the conference. So uh, the conference, uh, there are more than 300 oral presentations. After carefully evaluated by the chair, the session chairs and the committee, about 20 best presentations was uh, proposed here. Uh, I uh, read the first name and the, the title name. And all of the information will be announced in the website of the conference. So uh, the list, uh, the number, yeah, sorry, uh, the name and the unit and, and the unit. Fa uh, Longhe from Chinese Academy of Science. Uh, the title is the numerical investigation of the gravity effect on neural condensation, heat transfer, and the fold flow characteristic inside horizontal tube. So, uh, to uh, the second is uh, uh, Tabish Wahid from National Institute of Technology. Uh, Kanetika, India. And the third is the uh, Zhi Song Chiu from Xianjiang University. The fourth, the Marco Zhuang Da Silva from Federal University of Technology, uh, Parana Brazil. And the fifth, uh, Noro Elia Ismail from Monash University, Australia. The sixth, uh, Kai Deng from Nanjing University of Science and Techno Technology, China. The seventh is uh, Qiang Guo uh, from Columbia, uh, Columbia University, US. Ding Yang from Northwest University. Toshio Takawa from Tokyo uh, Metropolitan University. Xiaonan Wang from Tsinghua University. Kuter Brini from Brazil University of Technology. Libor Pika from Thomas Ma Butter University in Zili, Czech Republic. Qi Yuan Wang from Xianjiao Tong University. Wei Guo from University of Science and Technology, Beijing. Alexander Agnikiu. Russia Academy of Science. Ming Liu from China University of Petrola. Yu Xia from School of Engineering and Material Science. Jian Zheng from Technical University of Catalonia. Fabian uh, Otebi from Colifia University. Tian Yu Wang from Harbin Institute of Technology. So uh, I would like uh, con uh, congratulate to all the uh, authors of the best pre presentation and the certification uh, of the best presentation will be uh, mailed to you after the conference by the, uh, by the secretary of the uh, conference. So 
In the last session, I would like to acknowledge all of the help for the uh, conference on behalf of the committee. Uh, many thanks. I, for the plenary speaks, uh, all of you give a, a very nice uh, talk in the cutting of the research. And uh, uh, thanks to the keynote speakers and all of the oral presentations, uh, all of you uh, make a great contribution to make the uh, conference fruitful. And uh, I, would, I would say thanks for the participants of all of you. And uh, many thanks for the hard working from organizer and the volunteer. Your, your hard working supports the, the conference successfully. And last, I will see you in the next Matt Q. Thank you. The closing ceremony is, will be closed.